Hello students, welcome to this video session. In this demonstration, I am going to discuss the topic number system. First of all, I would like to tell the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, the students will understand how the binary numbers are used by computer systems and also they can able to convert from denary numbers to binary numbers and also from binary numbers to denary numbers they can understand the use of hexadecimal notations they can able to convert from denary numbers to hexadecimal notation and also from binary to hexadecimal notations Basically, you know, the students should know three key terms in this lesson. The first one is data. The second one is analog. The third one is digital. First, let us see what is meant by data. Data is nothing but the raw facts and figures. So, the raw facts and figures we call us data now you may raise a question sir what is meant by raw facts and figures raw facts and figures can be in the form of numbers symbols alphanumerical characters alphabetical characters etc etc basically you know the humans we uh, use analog data so what analog data we are using say for example like sound light waves and also the impulses on our skin the humans uh, usually we see and hear is a continuous transmission of analog data to our senses usually you know the analog data is really great for the humans uh, to process and understand it but the computers can't understand the analog data they can understand only uh, the digital data which is in the form of zeros and ones okay fine now let us see what is meant by number system the number system is nothing but the system of counting and calculating means system of counting and calculating we call that one as a number system say for example the numbers of digits uh, which comes with base 10 we can tell uh, same like that uh, the binary number system uses two characters like 0 and 1 uh, which comes with the uh, base 2 basically you know in this session we are going to see uh, three different types of number system the first one is the denary number system the second one is the binary number system the third one is the hexadecimal number system first let us see what is meant by denary number system usually the denary numbers uh, already i told which comes with base 10 and here uh, you know only 10 characters will be there like starting from 0 to 9 uh, that we call as a, a denary number or decimal number we can tell usually the digits uh, in the decimal number system are like uh, uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now the second one is binary number system usually the binary number system which is based on two characters already i told about that and also uh, the base will be 2 
computers uh, usually it can understand only zeros and ones so say for example on and off states and the last one is the hexadecimal number system here the number system which is based on 16 characters uh, say for example uh, starting from 0 to 9 and instead of 10 here a b c d e and f e and f uh, with the 16 characters uh, the hexadecimal number system welcome to this session in this video we are going to discuss about how to convert a binary number into a binary number basically you know there are two methods to solve this problem one is the successive division method the another one is the trial and error method here we are going to first see uh, the successive division method so let us go and begin in this example first i'm going to take a binary number 25 in successive method always we have to divide this number by 2 so first take the first number so 1 times 2 it is 2 there is no reminder so now you can go to the second number so 2 times 2 it is 4 so there are one reminder is there so you have to keep the reminder here always you have to keep the reminder here then how to divide this one by 2 so 6 times 2 it is 12 there is no reminder you can keep 0 here you can actually how to divide by 2 so 3 times 2 it is 6 again actually there is no reminder so you can keep all the 0 here until you get a number less than 2 here so how to divide that so again you have to divide by 2 so 1 by 2 no so sorry 1 times 2 it is uh, 2 so the reminder will be 1 so finally how to pick the answer means you want to start from here and you have to go like this okay so now how to write the answer means 1 1 0 0 1 base 2 this is the final answer okay fine let us see one more example so for this example i'm going to take a binary number 75 base 10. basically you know that uh, binary number always comes with uh, base 10 because you know binary numbers 10 digits will be there starting from 0 to 9. okay let us go and begin first you have to keep the number 75 here and you have to divide this one by 2 right so first take the first number because uh, this 7 it is greater than 2 you can take the first digit uh, now you know 3 times 2 3 times 2 it is 6 the reminder will be 1 so you can keep the reminder here now this will become like 15 right now 7 times 2 it is 14 7 times 2 it is 14 so the reminder will be 1 right so you have to keep the reminder here always then how to divide this one by two already i told you know uh, once you get uh, a number less than two you have to keep on dividing so now one time two it is two again actually here, here the reminder will be there that is one now this will become like 17 right now eight times two it is 16 again the reminder will be one so you have to keep the reminder here Again, I'm going to divide this one by 2. So 9 times 2, 9 times 2, it is 18. Now, now the reminder will be 0. You know how to divide this one by 2. So 4 times 2, it will be 8. Right? 4 times 2, it will be 8. Now the reminder will be 1. Again, how to divide this one by 2. So 2 times 2, it will be 4 now the reminder will be zero again how to divide this one by two so one time two it is two again the reminder will be zero 
so now you know how to write down so you want to start from here and you have to go like this yes, and it's so when you're writing down so it will be like one zero zero one zero double one base two this is our final answer so how to keep base two because we are going to convert a binary number to a binary number right <music> Hello students, welcome to this video. In this demonstration, I am going to discuss how to convert a binary number to a binary number. To explain this example, I am going to take a, a number, the binary number 35, okay, 35 base 10. So you know always uh, uh, binary number uh, will be coming with base 10 right and I'm going to use the method here is a trial and error method okay so to solve this problem so what what is the first step you have to do means uh, uh, you have to draw a binary table okay like this you have to draw a binary table what is the next step you have to do means uh, you have to fill the first row with the numbers say for example like a 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 okay so now you may raise a question so how you got this uh, 1 2 4 8 16 32 something like that so that is simply powers of 2 okay powers of 2 means it is a 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 then 2 to the power 3 then 4 then 5 then this one is 6 and uh, this one is 7 okay fine so now you know uh, 2 to the power 0 any number to the power 0 it will be 1 then 2 to the power 1 means it is 2 2 to the power 2 2 times 2 means it, it will be 4 so so on okay fine so so here my main intention is to convert the binary number to a binary number right so okay what is the next step means uh, the sum of powers of 2 you will get uh, the result isn't it so what do you how to do means uh, you have to construct this number so to construct this number what you have to do means you have to take a first digit zero okay zero plus from this list you have to pick a number which is less than or equal to 35 okay so less than or equal to 35 this one is greater this one is greater but this one is greater less than or equal to 35 so you can pick that number so 0 plus 32 equal to uh, it is 32 right okay so I pick this number isn't so you have to keep a 1 here remaining all the places you have to keep 0 okay then plus already I told I want to construct 35 five, isn't it so I got only 32 so then I have to take the check the next number like 16 plus 32 okay you can't construct because it will exceed the 35 right so you can ignore that one and you have to keep zero here and take the next number that is 8 right 8 means 32 plus 8 again actually it will exceed so you can keep zero here take the next number 4 so that will also exceed uh, 35 so you can ignore that one keep zero here but see uh, this one uh, 32 plus 2 you can pick that number so it will be 34 okay so you have to keep 1 here and now again actually how to because I, my aim is to construct this 35 right so what you have to do means again you have to check the next number that is a plus 1 that will be 35 so you will be getting the final answer that is 35 so you have to keep actually uh, one here so how to write the final answer means my binary digits isn't it so you can start from here like uh, uh, one zero 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 one one base two this is my final answer okay always i encourage my students to post the video and uh, work through it on your own 
then only you can improve your computing skills because you know you have to work hard on this one the thing is uh, uh, you should not use the calculator uh, for computer science right so you have to practice a lot that is very important in case uh, if you want to check whether your final answer is correct or not you can use the uh, successive division by two method and you can check say for example like uh, 35 35 divided by 2 right so here 1 times 2 actually it is 2 the remainder will be 1 so this will become like 15 right so 7 times 2 it is 14 as and so the remainder will be 1 so always you have to keep the remainder here right again you have to divide this one by 2 so now it is 8 times 2 it is 16 so the remainder will be 1 again you have to divide this one by 2 right because until you get a number less than 2 you have to keep on dividing so now 4 times 2 it will be 8 right so the remainder will be 0 now again you have to divide this one by 2 so 2 times 2 you will be getting 4 so the remainder will be 0 again you have to divide this one by 2 so it is 1 times 2 actually it will be 2 and the remainder will be 0 so the final answer will be starting from here to here so now you can see this one is uh, for example like 1 triple 0 double 1 base 2 this is the final answer both are same right